Hi, it's Diane. I recently opened an Etsy store called Pretty Pink Cottage, and I had three journals, junk journals, listed on it along with some uh, homemade ephemera. And uh, all in one day, I sold out the journals, and I still have some of the ephemera, but I did sell some of that also. Well, I will be busy making more. I'm excited to be able to make more. If you saw the video of this little journal that I made, you saw this, these pages of lists of journals, I, ideas and books and papers that I want to make journals with. So there will be more junk journals, which is why I opened the Etsy store, because I want to make all of these journals, but I don't need that many journals. But anyway, in the meantime, uh, I thought I would get out this box of books that I had made before. These are basically um, smash books, and then I went into got into junk journaling with this with the wire bound books, and then I started doing junk journals with the stitched in um, signatures. And I had sold some of these. I was really into making smash books. I sold a lot of smash books, which is uh, like a scrapbook. But uh, I was just selling them in a little shop in my town. And then I just uh, took them out of the shop and I've had them here. So I figured I would get them out and start listing them and, and see how they do since they're already made and I'm not using them. So I'm going to go through, uh, maybe I'll do these two on this video. I have these two um, narrow books and then a baby one. Uh, three smash books and three Christmas junk journals. And I also have a uh, mini album that I made. This was fun to make, but once I discovered junk journals, I really wasn't into, no, well, I was no longer interested in making uh, mini albums. I still like smash books. So I'll go through these quickly. Um, I didn't measure this first. I should have done that, but it's a little over four and a quarter by just over nine inches. And they're both the same because they're both made with the same kind of book. And this one has some stamping on it and a little felt flower. I don't know how many pages are in it. When I list this, I will put that in the description. But there's no, really, no real decoration in it. It is just a junk journal. It has some pattern paper. Um, this is from a, a book on books borrowed and books on loan. And some pretty lined paper. This is from a pharmacy log from where I used to work. Um, this is, I think, oh, this is from a teacher's book, a seating chart. Music paper, some more um, patterned paper. So it's just to be used as a notebook or a list book or just whatever. Um, a brain dump book, but whatever you'd like to use it for. That's that one. And this one is the same size, but it does have some decoration in it. So I'll go through that a little more carefully. It has collage on the front. I love to do collages. These are hardcover books. In fact, I'm about to make a junk journal with the same type of book. Okay, they all came from the same series, and this is the book cover. I think it's a weekly, yeah, weekly reader series of books. <clears throat> and I covered it with um, scrapbook paper. There's a little sack here with a little game card inside and a tag that I made. Oh, and this, when I had them in the shop, people didn't know what a smash book was, so I put these little things inside to give you ideas for using the book. I'll leave that in there. It can be just torn right out. And then there's pretty papers, and uh, that's a smash journaling card there. There's some journaling cards glued on. This was cut with my Cricut. It's mostly double-sided paper. This is a card from a Masterpiece game. It has some tabs. Several sheets of this pretty green paper here. This one is not double-sided, but I glued on some writing paper. This is an embossed cardstock there. 
I believe it's the kind that if you um, sanded it, it would show the color. I think this, this color would show through. Some more journaling cards. Some more lined paper for journaling. Some stamping. This has some glitter. This just has kind of like a use your stash kind of feel to it. It was just a mishmash. This one is a little pocket. There's a nice tall envelope. I don't think there's anything in it, so I won't open it. It's from a Cranium Cadu game. Some more journaling spots. A little folder here for journaling. It says Balderdash. So it has a uh, Smashbook feel to it. There's more yellow paper here, lined paper. Uh, I've always wanted to, and you fill in the blank, and then it says why not today, and it's framed with washi tape. I love this circus paper. Some more journaling cards. Well, I know there's a page there. And that's it. So those are these, these two books. Um, I'll start another video with the next book.